All right, so we have another great round of lightning talks here this morning. Uh, five lined up, and first we have uh, Ewan Cochran, who is here from uh, the Yale University Libraries. And he comes uh, bringing quite a bit of experience with uh, digital preservation. Uh, he worked to establish data archive for official statistics at the Statistics New Zealand and also with the digital continuity team at Archives New Zealand and consulting for Deloitte in Australia in information management. And he's done quite a bit uh, with emulation of software. Uh, and he has come to speak to us about modeling the domain of digital preservation in Wikidata. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to try and keep this fairly quick and I might do a brief demo. Um, I'm also hoping you all catch on to what we talk, I'm talking about here pretty quickly. So I'm going to briefly talk about what Wikidata is about, uh, why we want to use it for digital preservation data, what we're actually doing with it, and then um, a little bit about next steps and how you guys can all get involved if you'd like to. So Wikidata, by the way, that's the logo and it, um, I think it means Wikidata, it spells out wiki in Morse code. Which I think is kind of cool. um, so Wikidata is a wiki for data. Um, it's machine readable linked open data. Anyone can edit it. It's fully versioned and it's designed to be both human and machine readable. Um, last year it had over 16,000 active editors, over 26 million items and more than 200 bots editing it. The whole thing kind of blows my mind. Basically Wikidata is a database that anyone can put anything into. There is um, moderation around what can go in there. Um, people get to define uh, standards around uh, Wikidata items, things like which statements you should be able to make about them. Um, but in general, it's a um, database that anyone can add data to. Um, and it's open. That's what a data item looks, in this, looks like in Wikidata. So it has a unique identifier, um, a label, description, and then various statements made about it. And those statements can be backed up with qualifiers and references. And if you really want to, you can, um, when you're adding new properties, which are um, just a portion of the things in here, to Wikidata, you can uh, define requirements in terms of which statements need to be made about the um, various items. So why do we want to use this for digital preservation? Um, I did tweak these. This is the main reason. We're doing a lot of work with emulation and software preservation. And the issue, one of the big issues we came about came across was that we're unable to um, find a good database of documentation about software, documentation about configured disk images with software installed on them, documentation about configured software environments, which are effectively mostly just those disk images, documentation about the hardware um, that software environments can run on, and then all the information about how to bring those together at runtime to emulate a, an old um, computer in order to be able to access some old content. So we want to be able to um, preserve all software out there, in theory. Um, and we want to be able to document all those things. And we want to be able to share all that data. And we want to enable collaboration with all of this. Because trying to preserve all software out there, which is one of the things we actually do want to do, um, is not something we can do by ourselves. Um, so one of the things we are doing is trying to bring more of the data that is out there into Wikidata. So for example, we're putting in Pronom uh, file format identifiers and um, pulling in, the, there's already a lot of the data from Wikipedia, the structured data that's in Wikipedia and Wikidata, but we're also adding things like the li Library of Congress file formats information and various other information about file formats and software. Uh, and we're automating that. So we're using bots to keep that up to date in Wikidata. Um, here's an example of a page in Wikidata as viewed through um, one of the tools that's available to view it called Resonator. Um, this is the page for Debian, and this is just the first part of it. So there's a whole lot of information, structured information in there about Debian, for example. Um, here's another one, Acrobat. Um, but what I thought might be more interesting is to look at some of the things we can do once we have that data in there. All right, this is the page from the person, Catherine Thornton, who's our Clear Software Curation Fellow. Uh, who's also partly funded by IMLS. Um, who, she's been putting together all this, she's been leading all this work and she's put together a lot of different um, qu queries that you can go through and take a look at. So I don't know what would be interesting. File formats, return a list of file formats that are for 3D graphics. Let's try that one. 
So there's a query, I can just run it and I get the results. Um, and there are all sorts of crazy queries you can do once you bring together all the information that's in Wikidata with um, all this um, technical uh, software information and so on. Um, but I recommend you go through and have a look yourselves at um, all the options that we've added in there. Um, there's just so much. And it really blows my mind the things that um, Wikidata is going to be able to do. So hopefully everyone can see the slides again now. Um, the next thing we're doing with this, we're, we're adding all this data and we're trying to automate adding the data to Wikidata and then we're going to be creating, well, we've already just started creating a, um, a portal to make it much easier for people that only care about this, this kind of information to go through and make edits, add new information or um, report back on information that's in there. Um, and that's gonna be hosted by the Open Preservation Foundation. They generously volunteered to host that. Um, we've only just started work on that, but there is a GitHub page you can go to and have a look at. Um, so there are a few challenges with this. Uh, a big one is trust. Anyone can edit anything in Wikidata. Um, so if you wanted to rely on that as your database, how are you going to do that? One of the things we're pursuing is being able to have lists of trusted editors and only take the most recent edit from uh, anyone that's in that list. Uh, another thing you can do is endorse um, edits or endorse pages using by adding more data in there. So um, we could go through and endorse everything that we think is trustworthy and then only ever take those, um, those, page, those edits um, if we want to. Um, there are sort of uh, quite a few issues with scale. There are issues with data modeling and different, different opinions. There is a process for adding new properties to Wikidata and um, there can be conflicting opinions. So we need to justify what we want to do and why. Um, and Wikidata is still fairly immature. It's only a few years old. So there's a lot of um, growth in all sorts of ways, processes, people, the technology itself that needs to happen for this um, all to be successful longer term. All right, so we have a Google group. Um, I recommend you sign up if you're interested and um, follow what's going on there and contribute. Um, you can take a look at the sample queries, one of which I just showed before. Um, and feel free to just go through and start adding and editing, uh, adding to and editing Wikidata. You can just go to a page and manually change it like you would in uh, Wikipedia. Thank you. Who funds Wikidata? Wikimedia Foundation. Anything else? Thank you.